Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. And today we are making fairy cookies. So come along and make them with me. The things you are going to need are a half a cup of butter, slightly softened, one fourth cup of sugar, one fourth teaspoon of almond extract, one and one fourth cup of all purpose flour, one fourth teaspoon of salt and some sprinkles. Now go ahead and preheat your oven to 325 degrees, and then you are going to go ahead and combine the butter, the sugar, and the almond extract in a medium bowl. Beat on medium speed and scrape the bowl often until it's creamy. Then you're going to reduce the speed to low and add your flour and salt, and then beat well until it's mixed. And don't worry guys, I will have the recipe linked down below. And if you would like to find me on other platforms, I am at Cute Little Cupcakes Mom on Facebook and Instagram. So make sure you go check it out and I can hang out and talk to you guys over there as well. And now for the fun part, I'm going to add a bunch of sprinkles and then you're just going to hand mix this so that way the sprinkles don't lose their color. Now this next step, you're going to go ahead and take your cookie dough and put it in a pan, but first line your pan with some parchment paper so that way it doesn't stick. So that way you can get it nice and firmly tight and make a rectangle out of it. And don't forget all of those sprinkles on the bottom. I love sprinkles and I want it to look very pretty. And so I just added more sprinkles to the top. Now, once you have shaped your cookie dough, you are gonna go ahead and cut the dough into half inch squares. And then you're going to gently place them on a ungreased cookie sheet about a half an inch apart. Now you are going to stick them in that 325 degree oven for around 15 minutes or until the bottom is just beginning to brown. You don't want to overcook these because then they will taste bad because they will be way overcooked. Now you're just going to display them however you would like. These are perfect for a little girl's birthday party, a tea party, or anything that you want. I think I'm going to be making these for Mother's Day for my mom. They're cute little niblets that you can just pick up and eat with one bite. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and let me know what kind of treat you like to make for Mother's Day. Bye guys.